We're on Ketubat Perak Yud Gimel, Mishnah Vav. Sixth Mishnah in the 13th and final chapter of Masechah Ketubot. We're continuing to discuss the halachot of Admon. In this halacha, we're going to talk about a field. Okay, so normally, if I say, listen, you have, I have a cup, and you come to me and say, uh, that cup is mine. So we go by Chazaka. Chazaka means I'm holding the cup. You'd have to actually prove that it's mine. Otherwise, I will see me chaviro. I love haraya. Now, but what if we're talking about a field? Okay, we've got this orange orchard here. The field is muhzak. It, 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 there's, a, there's a recognized ownership. You don't have to, like, stand on your land all the time. Everybody knows that it's a person's field. It's Levi's field, let's say, example. So, Levi has a field. And everybody knows that it's Levi's field, and nobody knows that it's not Levi's field. So, if I want, if Ruben wants to come and say, hey, this field belongs to me, he has to produce a star. Either he has to produce a star, or he has to have chazaka, recognized chazaka, that it was his field, that he lived in the field. My house is my house. Why? Because I've been living in the house. I had a contract in the house. Everybody knows that it's my house. Unless, for, unless somebody else can prove that you sold it. Same thing is true about Levi's field. So now, we have an, Admon mentions a very interesting case. We'll see in our Mishnah. al So a person complains about the ownership of a field. But he is signed, the person who's doing the complaining, is signed as a signatory on a contract to sell that field. That's what the Bartudur explains. Reuven, Reuven, our al Shimon. Reuven, Reuven he, he is complaining or raising doubt about claims the, the field that's in the possession of Shimon. Reuven says to Shimon, listen, Levi, Levi, who sold you the field, stole it from me. The who, but Reuven is Chatum Ashtar Mechira, Shekatab Levi the Shimon. Let's go, I made you a chart. Okay, Levi sold the field to Shimon. Okay, and when Levi sold the field to Shimon, on the star, I made you a star, is signed, Reuven is signed on the star. So does the fact that Reuven signed on the, con- the sale contract, does that sort of indicate that he has no problem with Levi owning the field or not? Okay, so Reuven says, listen, that field was mine, Shimon, give me the field. Levi never had the right to sell it to you. And Levi says, what? Reuven, you signed the contract. He says the Mishnah, Admon, we're back to the Mishnah, Admon, Omer, Ar-Yachol Omar. He can say, Reuven can say, Hasheni Noachli, V'harishon Kashehi Menu. I'd rather, I'll tell you what the problem was. Why did I sign on that? Levi is a ruffian in the mafia. Levi's a tough guy. I knew I'd never have a chance to get the field out of Levi. Shimon, you're not such a big guy. I'm not so worried about you. Therefore, I'd rather, when Levi said he wanted to sell the field to you, I was really glad because I was never going to get the field from him. I'd rather get the field to you. So the reason I signed on the star is not because I admitted that it belonged to Levi, but because I wanted you to have it so I could get it from you. Hasheni Noachli, the second guy, is Noachli, preferable to me. Rishon Kashemi, the first guy, is harder. Sorry, if you sign on the contract, that's as if you're admitting that it belongs to that it belonged to Levi, and therefore you're out. Sorry, Reuven, you have no claim on the field. Asa Laacher means if he sold the adjacent field. Okay? He sold the field next to this field, and he said, Oh, and by the way, one of the borders is it's Levi's. You know, he, he, he mentions it as, as Levi's field. I mean, I'm signing on the border, and he says he makes this field a siman for another field. Okay, the Kahati explains, right? In the simanim, right, he, he mentions that it's Shimon's, I'm sorry, not Levi's field. He mentions it's Levi's field. Reuben says, oh, I'm selling you the field next to it. And, wh- I, you know, and when he marks it, he says, oh, by the way, this field is adjacent to Shimon's field. And he can no longer come and say, well, it doesn't belong to you. Then, he lost his rights, because he now has admitted that the field belongs to Shimon, and it doesn't belong to him. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rabbi Simchami Yisrael Kalman. Have a good day.